Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srinivas, a practicing urologist at Asian Institute of Nephrology and Urology, Dirshiknagar, Hyderabad. Today, we will discuss about kidney stones in pregnancy because this is a topic which has got lot, which causes lot of fears in pregnant population and lot of misconceptions about stones in pregnancy because stones are common in pregnancy. How common are they? They are as common as stones occurring in a normal non-pregnant population. So, stones can occur in pregnancy. So, whenever you go to your gynecologist with some complaint like either a urine burning or your blood in urine or back pain, they do some basic tests and when they get a suspicion that you may have a stone, they refer to the urologist and you come to us. So, what are the common symptoms of stone? The common symptoms, any disease has got several spectrum of symptoms. So, the most common symptom is pain. Where does the pain occur in a kidney stone? Generally, it starts in the back below the ribs. That area is called as loin and radiates to the front to the groin. So, loin to groin pain is the most common symptom of stone. Along with this, a stone patient may have some burning in the urine, some blood in the urine. These are the basic symptoms. But when a stone causes infection, it can cause fever also. This, yes, at this point of time, a pregnant lady has to get alarmed because fever is not a very good sign in pregnancy or in general population. So, whenever you have these symptoms, please consult your urologist. So, when a pregnant lady with these symptoms come to us, we first do a basic evaluation called complete urine examination, urine culture and ultrasound and come and few basic blood tests like complete blood picture and serum creatinine. With these investigations, we get a rough estimate what is the severity of the problem. When we think that the problem is not very severe and stones can be managed medically, we advise some medications like some antibiotics to treat the infection and some medicines for the stones to expel. A few medicines are there and they are safe in pregnancy. So, we advise medications that are safe in pregnancy only. What happens if we do not treat an infection? A infection can cause growth retardation in your baby. It can cause IUGR. So, a infection has to be treated. So, when you come to us with an infection, we treat and we ask you to come back after about a month with a repeat urine culture to see whether infection has come down or not. So, please follow up is very important. You have to come back for the follow up. So, next question is, is Surgery mandatory for every stone? No, so we do not operate for every stone, especially in the pregnancy. So, first three months when the baby organs are formed, we as far as possible try to manage medically. In the rest, second and third trimesters also, when the symptoms are not very severe and when the stone is not causing any harmful effects on the kidney, we advise for medicines and medical management only. Only when the problem is severe, like when the mother's health is getting deteriorated because of infection and kidney infection, what we call as pyelonephritis, when you are getting fever or when the kidney is getting affected like serum creatinine is going up, yes, we definitely advise surgery because that is a life-saving procedure at that point of time. And do not get panicky when we advise the surgery because surgery is almost a safe procedure in pregnancy also after the first three months. So, and usually they are minimally invasive procedures, endoscopic procedures where you have to stay in the hospital for a day or two and we discharge you and you can get, continue your follow up with your gynecologist. And one word of caution, after when we come to, when you come to us, we put on medicines and we advise you to come back after delivery for follow up. Please, after about two or three months after delivery, please come back to us and come for a follow up because some stones may grow in size and can damage your kidney or again they may be asymptomatic and cause again pain in the second pregnancy. So, this follow up part is very important. So, please maintain your regular follow up and have safe kidneys and safe health. Thank you.